block. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop time. What is YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of things that they added to Blackout. Some absolutely incredible things, in my opinion. Uh, some, some a little questionable, and I'm kind of wondering where their mindset is on that. But we'll get back into that in a little bit. But first things first, I wanted to apologize for a little bit of an inconsistent upload rate. That's going to happen this week, too. Uh, I've been bouncing back and forth doing holiday things. Uh, most of you guys can understand, uh, but generally, you know, it's it, the, the uploads are going to be a little bit inconsistent. But after Christmas, it should go back to a regular upload schedule and stuff like that pretty much daily uploads so if you guys enjoy daily blackout uploads and you guys are new to the video make sure you guys click that sub button now with that being said we're going to talk about a couple of things that they added inside of blackout first things first uh xbox and pc users got the absolute zero event or uh operation season whatever you guys want to call it it that's you guys got that today so that's pretty exciting i hope that you guys are enjoying some of the great content that they did add although there's going to be a completely different video dropping this week about my actual thoughts on absolute zero so i hopefully you guys are looking forward to that now we're going to talk today about a couple of things and those kind of consist inside of the game now they made some audio improvements inside of blackout so i'm pretty excited about that in general there's always kind of been that weird off-putting like like I said it last time, how I felt like there is kind of a way for you to hear people and how when they did adjust the audio settings, it kind of felt overpowered in a way. So they're kind of fixing it, they're tweaking it, and it's probably not something that they're going to get right anytime soon, to be honest, because of the fact that they have to fix it and tweak it so much. But I'm glad that they're taking the extra strides in order to actually make it to the point where it's like, oh, hey, you know, it's actually kind of, they're, they're at least working on it. So there's that. There was a balancing tuning for zero. This was actually really needed based on the fact that the game was it felt broken when they added zero it felt like at any point in time not only could you be emp'd which emp's were nothing new but not only at any point in time could you be emp'd but you can get hacked and that hacked didn't allow you to heal it didn't allow you to throw any of your abilities and that hack lasted a good long while so that being said i'm glad that they actually took into it in fact i felt like they didn't play test that character enough because anybody like a monkey with a a, a hat that as a video game console could have seen that that was a little bit broken so with that being said we also got custom games inside of blackout now i haven't actually done very much inside of it in fact i tried to launch a custom games to uh, look for an item that i'm actually about to tell you guys later on about i and it wouldn't even launch with one person i don't know if i have to go in and tweak the settings or something like that but it wouldn't even launch so you know i, I have to do a little bit more investigating into that but it is inside the game and hopefully i'll be able to use it as a tool to create good content for you guys in the ways of showing you guys the items as soon as they get into the game you know the items that they add into the game being able to show you guys that stuff inside the game so there's that now the big thing inside of the game that i wanted to talk to you guys about treyarch decided to go ahead and gift us the rest of our skins if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i mean the character uh, the all of the original specialist in this game for blackout have been completely unlocked and you do not have to go through the character missions now i know as an og player myself when i first saw this i was taken aback and i didn't even think it was a good idea i was in fact very frustrated that i'd spent the amount of time and frustration in the game that you know i did in order to unlock some of the characters now that being said they kind of gave us a little bit of a a little bit of a like here we still see you so if you have originally unlocked the characters before this update you got this outfit called the numbers and the numbers is kind of like and uh, it's kind of like an homage to back in the day you know the numbers mason what do they mean so uh black ops one you know they would have the numbers flashing the red numbers so this is a completely black suit you guys will see it on the screen it's a completely black suit and the numbers are like flashing so there you know you'll see a six on your shoe and sometimes or you'll see it flashing red most of the time so most of the time you don't even know what you're looking at but it's it's a flashing red type thing and although it doesn't seem like the smartest thing to wear especially since this game being a little bit more strategic than games uh you know than other battle royales like fortnite and h1z1 i think like you have to be a little bit more strategic in this game so the all black is cool but i wish that they didn't go through the whole like 
flashing lights thing because it kind of makes you look like a strobe light and it's not very uh, it's not very fitting now this outfit only comes to the original multiplayer characters most of the specialist aside from that it doesn't do anything so you won't get be able to see it on nikolai or anybody like that you guys have to just deal with the base skins for that but knowing now that they are adding extra outfits in the game some of the outfits that we unlock throughout leveling our tiers will probably get customized in the future so that's pretty cool i'm very interested to see if they do that later on but aside from that there is also new contraband stashes contraband stashes are like a new type of supply stash so you'll find them throughout the whole gameplay map and you can get the secret santa and sleigh bell and a couple of other goodies actually out of there but you guys can get the secret santa melee weapon and the sleigh bell melee weapon and those all do in fact one shot so if you go up to somebody bang they're 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 dead you know easy easy peasy if you guys have been a bit a big fan of the bowie knife then you guys are probably going to enjoy this just as much as well as i wanted to go ahead and tell you guys now i made a video out last about i think i think it was last week um and the video was talking about weapon stashes or weapon camos my bad and those are also coming this week later on this week we will also see those implemented into the game now because it's going to be an update i don't think that it's going to be just for playstation only so xbox and pc users can expect to get this as well so yeah weapon camera support and armor tuning are coming later on i think at the current point um i which i've noticed since basically the armor came out that they're going to they were going to nerf it because it does seem a little tanky in certain situations some weapons are just not strong enough to kill uh people with high level armor on in fact half the time if you don't shoot them in the face you're probably going to die and because a lot of people aren't like fit they don't fit that oh i need to headshot the people motif even i sometimes it's uh, it's situational whether you can hit them in the head or not so you know it, it's very difficult and with that being said, they definitely, definitely need to switch it so that, you know, players don't have to worry about that. They can, you know, kind of get their kills. I'm just hoping that the armor doesn't go back to Graham Cracker armor where it's basically like not even wearing it. So that's something. So that's everything I have to talk to you guys about. All the exciting black. Oh, actually, guys, never mind. I have one more thing to tell you guys. I thought this was actually really cool and it's definitely a cool way for the multiplayer to go instead of them selecting each weapons um you know reactive camo to be only for a specific weapon they have officially made it so if you've unlocked gold camo for that weapon you're able to use whatever reactive camo you want so i should have some gameplay up of that for you guys if not then go ahead and go check that out because it's absolutely dope if you guys have got a reactive camo and a gold gun which i think at this point most people have them unless they're new to the game you guys should definitely go check that out but with that being said i hope you guys are having a great holiday you know whether you guys are on break or whether you guys are about to go on break i hope you guys stay safe and thank you guys so much for checking out this video make sure you guys leave a like make sure you guys click that sub button and that bell so you guys can be notified all of 2019 of all of my stellar uploads and i will make sure that i keep them coming thank you guys so much for checking out the video and i'll see you next time peace